we go. Hi everyone. So today we are finishing maple syrup in the kitchen. And this has all been cooked outside on my flat pan and brought in. Um, we finished it off late last night, so I bring it in to do the bottling at the high temperature. And of course I always test it with my hydrometer now. Last year I didn't do that. I just let it boil and then I knew that that was when it was done. The problem with that is sometimes you can get the start of a boil and have it be too low of a temperature and not enough bricks or bomb or too heavy and then you end up with very heavy syrup that is sheeting too thick off of um, your spoon. Now this is what happened to me yesterday. I got a little busy with the animals. So today I'm adding some raw maple sap and I just went out and got some in a pitcher out of the bucket. And on the hydrometer there's two test lines. The top one is for hot and the lower one is for the cold test. So we're doing the hot test and as I was starting I was ending up right in between the two lines so I added more sap, brought it to the boil and what you do to use this is fill it nearly to the top. Me? With hot syrup right from your pot. Now I have this stainless steel pot that I use um, for a lot of batch processing food in the canning season. The actual canning pots that I have are the same size and they um, don't have the double insulated bottom. So this heats better. So when it floats to your red line, I'm still a little bit heavy, but a little bit is okay. Um, if you're selling it, you're basically selling off um, some of your profit by having it too heavy. This is our own home batch, so I can add more uh, sap to this and get it down that one, one and a half bricks. Or I can just bottle it as it is. Now you want to make sure that you bottle it hot um, at 180 degrees. And I always use a candy thermometer to watch my boil also. Um, syrup boils at a hotter temperature than maple sap. So I always just set it in here and it's usually ready to boil when it's somewhere around 220 degrees. Um, to be removed from the heat. The bottling is at 180 degrees. Now this has been sitting for about five minutes and I'm just below 220. On my, over here, this is my double cone filter from Leader. We added the temperature gauge to make sure that I can keep an eye on my bottling temperature because if you don't bottle it at the hot temperature, then you end up with syrup that can be spoiled from being not hot enough, getting mold growth, or, um, and if you're not boiling it hot enough, then you can end up with fermented syrup, and then you've got a whole batch that's gone bad. So that is the hydrometer cup and the double cone filter, everybody. You can see here I'm just doing this in mason jars today because this is for our own use, so I'm not using the retail packaging. And you don't have to process this in the water bath canner. Um, I actually use my water bath canners outside to get them in the house. So we've got a couple of those and they hold about six gallons a piece. Um, I just lay them on their sides to let the heat from the syrup seal them. And then after they've cooled for about 12 hours, then I tip them back up. So that's maple syruping everybody. Thanks for watching.